Alrighty, people. Welcome to the breakdown with Nath and Johnny. Oh, I've been waiting to do this band again for a thousand lifetimes, it seems. Ooh, funny. Not really. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the self credit. Yeah, Ooh. he's nailed it. No, I just, I was just stoked because I actually managed to get the sentence out without going. Oh, fucking battle cry. Oh. That still is my favourite. For those of you that didn't see that video, mm. uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you not watching everything? But also, Johnny just misread the intro to the video and started by screaming something completely irrelevant. Very, very funny. Mm. We are checking out Fire From The Gods, Thousand Lifetimes. I love this band, uh, big fan. Uh, we've checked them out on the channel before. We've missed all their recent singles lately. Uh, last time we checked them out on the channel was with Memphis May Fire when AJ featured on one of their tracks. We did them after that. We did one video of theirs shortly after that. As like I thought heroes. that was before. No, it was after. Because I'd never listened to them previous to that. That was a thing. Oh. Previous. Previous, uh, yeah. Previous, like, not a lot. Previous, like, not a lot. Like, 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 like. This is of their upcoming album, Soul Revolution, uh, which you guys can pre-order, save. Now, the link to the official video will be down below if you guys want to go and watch that. Hey, uh, if it's your first time here, thanks for joining us. If you're still watching our videos and you haven't subscribed, boom, please hit that subscription button. Or tell us what we need to do better, because clearly we're not quite doing something right. No, because they're still watching the videos. Yeah, but it's like, in spite of us? Yeah. We're like, oh, I guess That's I watched cool. the reaction. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that was funny. <laughs> A thousand lifetimes, I get I mean, it. The, but... Yes. Ugh. I mean, battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh! Better noise music! Spit a baby! <laughs> okay. Oh, come on! God, I love his voice. Yes, boys. Oh my god, what a voice. Yeah, he has a wonderful huskiness yeah. to it. Which I, yeah, it's such a nice tone. His melodies are just, the, and like his cadence and the way he changes the melodies up and does like quicker sort of, you know, lyrics coming through and. <sighs> Interesting, the, the lead guitar is quite back in the mix in this one, or maybe it's more in this ear and it's the one I have slightly off so I can hear you. <laughs> Can you hear the lead guitar more? Because you have the opposite ears going to me. Uh, I'll pay more attention. The lead guitar, I think, is quite back in the mix. There is like a lead line going through there, but it's, it's quite yeah, right. withdrawn. Good bass tone. I must confess, I break from the stress. I tell my story, get it off my chest. Green light till I get it right. And no one's stopping till I save my life. Harder to breathe, it's getting harder to see. Oh, that like quiet picked guitar, yeah, yeah. This bit, so good. Oh, that's sick! Faith and love when the rules them get rough. A thousand lives couldn't pay for the strength. 
Voice man, holy shit. I like that so much. I love that. That was, oh God. It, in terms of like, you know, melodic hard rock that leans ever so slightly in towards that metalcore world. Genty world. Yeah, like it doesn't get much better than that for me personally. Um, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. And what a voice. The structure of that song was predictable in the right ways. Yeah. It, it was very verse, chorus, verse, chorus, slight bridge, but it worked because you kind of, you could get into the groove of it and feel it. And as you touched on, the melody in that chorus for me was 10 out of 10. Yeah, 100%. It had enough dynamics there. His vocal tone was great. Even the production and all of it, that lead was probably a little bit further back in the mix and I would like just to add that tiny bit more of the, yeah. the higher range, but yeah. it still kept it there. It's still really, really interesting. I'd be keen to hear that without headphones on to hear that as well, how that mix is in like a car situation or something yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, good um, point. But I, yeah, I really enjoyed that a lot. 100%. And um, yeah, like you said, the structure was a little bit sort of predictable yeah. in, in that sense, but we've also said on this channel before, because we love rock uh, and we love, you know. <laughs> we do love rock. Yeah. It, if you're going to do it, make the song super engaging. Yeah. Make it super catchy. And yeah, the vocal melodies in that, his voice is phenomenal. And I have said this before, you know, about like the African-American vocal tone and sound, just it just adds a whole other element to heavy music that you don't get generally. And yeah. it's just... Oh, yeah, he has the, like that power there, like Howard does as well. Howard, uh, Lejeune from Seven Dust, and mm. it's why I love those vocalists. It's just I get something from it I don't get from other vocalists. Um, you know, not saying it's better or worse or whatever, but yeah, I just I love it. I love that band. They're so good. What did you guys think of Thousand Lifetimes, the brand new track from Five the Gods, Four from the Gods? I can't talk, <laughs> but hey, you guys already knew that. <laughs> just another misread. <laughs> It's not misreading, it's me mistalking. Oh, okay. I'm aware of the name of the band. Thanks, <laughs> Joni. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Joni. <laughs>